Boys and girls, well, first of all, I apologize for any wind noise out here. It's slightly breezy, so you may catch a little wind noise. But anyway, today is the beginning of fall camp for the University of Tennessee, and I just got finished listening to Jeremy Pruitt's opening press conference, and I always like to hear this guy talk. He's, he's one of us, it feels like. You know, he's a southern guy. He's a... Uh, uh, he's just one of us, you know, you feel like, you kind of feel like sometimes you've known the guy all your life. So, always enjoyable to listen to Jeremy Pruitt. What did he talk about today? Well, first of all, you know, if you want to hear Jeremy Pruitt's press conference, go over to, you know, to the UT YouTube page or, or one of those places and, and listen to the entire press conference and all the questions the media asks because... I'm not going to give you that here because I can't. I don't want to get hit with a copyright violation, if, if that's even the case. I don't know. But basically, I didn't record the thing. So I know I can pick it up elsewhere. Anyway, to touch on some of the points and, and important things I feel that he talked about in today's press conference, he mentioned pretty much right out of the, right out of the gate in his initial, in his initial, excuse me, good lord, in his initial comments, that the two things that he feel are the most important this year are toughness and fundamentals, and he talked about that last year. Uh, and you just you you get that from Jeremy Pruitt. You, Pruitt, you get that sense. He's a he's a tough old Southern guy. His dad's a foot, high school football coach. He was a high school football coach. He, he's just into teaching the fundamentals and toughness. And those, to me, also are the two most important things in football outside of one other thing that he touched on today, too. Ball security. Look, you can't win if you don't possess the ball. I mean, yeah, you know the old saying, defense wins championships, offense sells tickets. But offense sells tickets for a reason, because that's when your boys got the ball and they're hoping to score. And I know for a fact one thing's true. You cannot win if you don't score. You can't do it. It's impossible to win a football game by scoring zero points. You can tie one, but you can't win one. So anyway, yeah, he touched on those those items. Uh, he was asked, you know, some of the mundane, normal, regular, usual, cliche questions that media people ask. And again, if you want to hear all of those, hop over to another channel and listen to the press conference. I actually urge that. Um, yeah, in fact, uh, I'm hoping that we get that up on the road show later today. That'll be uh, up to Catfish and, and a couple of our other guys over there. But anyway, fall camp is open, kids. It's freaking open. It begins today at the University of Tennessee, and we are 30 days away from kicking off the season against Georgia State. Pencil that in as a win. Georgia State's not beating Tennessee. They're not challenging Tennessee. This will not be a close game. I'm not going to say shouldn't because that's ridiculous with, with a team like Tennessee. Because Jeremy's going to get us back to where that power T actually has some power in it. Uh, so Georgia State's not challenging Tennessee. To me, the real season begins in week two against BYU. For some reason, the general seems to think that BYU's going to upset Tennessee. But general, shut your pie hole. It ain't happening, brother. It ain't happening. Uh, the season begins against BYU, and then two weeks after that, it gets really cranked up and really begins down in that nasty-ass swamp. Ugh. We got some making up to do, balls, And I'm talking to the ball players, any of you. If it's just one or it's none, well, if it's none, that, that, that can't help me any. Any Tennessee player, if you're watching this, pass it on to your boys. It's time to get legit. Alright, we've had enough. I know, I know, I don't expect Tennessee to challenge for the SEC this year. And I guess I really don't expect us to challenge for the East because I know we're a class or two away. we got to build some depth. And we got to find out if these kids, these freshmen that are uh, coming in this year are what they're cracked up to be. It all looks good on paper, and, and it all looks good when these uh, big, bad, uh, you know, 
big boy on their campus high school football players are pushing around other high school kids. Now you're up with boys your own dimensions. So let's see what you do against that. Jeremy said that the team just looks more like a football team this year. That's not an that's not an exact or direct quote. Um, basically, he said you can tell a difference when the team walks into the room because you know they've had another year with the strength and conditioning. And he did say that that's the guy that has the mo- that spends the most time with the team, and that's a strength and conditioning guy. And that's true. Touched on a few players. Um, talked about uh, uh, Elante Taylor being a guy that has improved exponentially since last year, and says that he's always down there in the in the facility working on something after hours. So I like to hear that, you know. And hopefully, there's a lot of other guys that are down there doing that. We need that. Tennessee fans need to see some improvement this year. That's all there is to it. They can do all the talking they want to do. Uh, Chirping is for the birds. And that's a saying for a reason. Because it is. I don't want to hear no talking from no players. You know, uh, I don't want to hear no talking coming out of anybody but Tennessee fans. Uh, We're allowed to talk that shit. Because that's what we do. And it's time... For me to be able to get back on here and say things like, Hey, Alabama, kiss my ass. We're kicking your ass this year, you bunch of gump, punk-ass turds. And mean it. You know, and mean it. Well, I always mean it when I call Alabama a bunch of punk-ass turds. But, you know, uh, it's time to really get behind our boys and believe that we can beat the bigger boys in the conference. Because I, for one, am damn sure sick to damn death of losing to frickin' Vanderbilt and South Carolina and Kentucky. And I know we only lost to Kentucky once during all this, but that's one too many. So you can imagine what I think about Vandy and South Carolina. And I ain't forgot you, Missouri. Y'all got no business in this conference any damn way. And you really ain't got no business coming in here and beating up on my damn Tennessee balls, bunch of Midwestern assholes. Y'all are from the Midwest, not the Southeast. Go home! Shit. Same with Texas A&M. Y'all aren't Southeastern. Anyway, go Vols. Screw y'alls. Camp is underway, and next week they put on the pads. That's right.